hi everyone in this video let's try to understand how can we log in uh, using the azure ad credentials into a vm so every time when we have an uh, users want to log in into a vm we will not be in a position to share our the vm credentials to everyone because that is because that being a root account and uh, so we can't be sharing that and we would like to in fact give them the user login facilities in that kind of cases organizations prefer this kind of feature which azure virtual machines are provided providing right now and the way to do it is let's see deep dive into it how does that work and everything so to give an understanding how do uh, we log in into a vm uh, we provide user provides the credentials when you go with an a linux machine or a windows machine we give the username and a password and uh, that is nothing but the username and password which we have provided while we are creating the virtual machine but this being a root account and uh, we wouldn't be preferring because this is almost uh, having the administration credentials administration credentials and uh, uh, this is usually some organizations don't prefer it and they wanted uh, instead of uh, sharing the root account password and username to every uh, user who wants to log in in their virtual machine uh, they wanted to uh, decide key if their the user has been given a virtual machine access uh, he is authorized to actually access the virtual machine. In that kind of case, they don't need to have the root account, username, and password. Using their own uh, Azure Active Directory credentials, that is, they're use, using their own username and password, which they log in into Azure portal. So those same credentials we can use, and we can log in into a virtual machine, and that's how uh this feature actually gives a more broader scope of uh, uh, utilizing the virtual machines at ease so few things we have to take care while we are enabling this fee uh, while we are setting up this feature is first thing is we have to enable the login with azure ad so while we are creating a virtual machine what you have to go and do is uh, you have to go uh, to the while you're going and creating in the in terms of a portal point of view you, you go to the management section and then by default this will be disabled this option will be disabled you have to go and specifically enable it and when you are enabling it a system assigned manager entity will be created uh, with, to support the azure ad or the login authentication and this is how you will enable the azure ad login so after that few more things which you have to take care is you have to go and disable the nla uh, so you can go log in into the virtual machine using the root account and everything. Otherwise, the other way is in the, from the portal itself, you can go select the virtual machine which you wanted to, uh, uh, where you have enabled the login with Azure AD. You go select that one and you will be seeing in the blade panel uh, run command. You will select that and you will be all having the options of few uh custom commands to be run and there uh, you'll already have uh, sorry built-in commands to be run and there you'll see disable nla what is nla network level authentication so uh, here you have to go ahead and disable this so for that you have to click select this and then click on run it's going to take around one to two minutes for the run to be complete so you will be seeing an output here and saying that the script has been complete once that is complete you are have disabled the uh, nla so first we have to enable the login with azure ready while creating you have to enable the option for the virtual machine then you have to go and disable the nla the next is the user should be having the access to the virtual machines and for that so even the user is having contributor access owner access to the virtual machine or reader access doesn't mean they will be in a position to log in so there are specific few roles which azure uh, is providing uh, for the users to be logged into the virtual machine and those are uh, virtual machine administrator login and virtual machine user login so this uh, two roles has to be provided for a user or for a group group is nothing but a list of users will be the group so you can assign to a user or to a group to a virtual machine or the resource group itself where the virtual machines are been residing so that all the virtual machines in that resource group will inherit 
this role is called administrator login and user login and uh, how do you assign an RBAC role you select a virtual machine I usually prefer going with a resource group point of view where the virtual machines are there and I'm only assigning the administrator login and user login so this only helps in terms of login as an administrator or as a liquid user so here how do you select it you go to the virtual machine you can go and select access control IM or you can prefer in which VM the uh, the resource group is that resource group you can select access control IM and you click on add then you will see once you click on add you will be seeing add role assignment and once you click on role assignment you will be seeing this uh, you have to go and search for the roles so you can actually search the I, we, uh, I provided as virtual machine login so under the role section once I did it so I'll see this two roles uh, uh, virtual machine administrator login and user login this is actually for arc so we're not getting into this azure arc at this point of time uh, so you can select this two roles or any one of the role and then then after you click on next year uh, then it will take you to members that is what you're seeing here and here we have to either assign it to a user or a group and you select the members and you can see the users and the groups in the right section and you can select the users and the groups whom you wanted to assign this uh, administrator login or user login load and after that once this is done we have assigned uh, our back we have uh, disabled the NLA for the VM and then we have enabled the Azure uh, login while you are creating itself so this is good to go and only if one more thing which has been left to ensure that the users can do is uh, so whenever they are trying to log in using this Azure ready login credentials few things they have to do is select the virtual machine uh, go into the overview section and you click on connect you will see RDP and you have to download the RDP once you download the RDP it will you have to go in this RDP file will be in your machine or uh, in your local desktop or your laptop you go and click on open with and click on notepad editor and you have to add these two lines along with the whatever lines you have so you this will help in terms of uh, not trying to authenticate from your uh, uh, it will open a remote desktop session and from there inside the machine it will go and authenticate and that's the appropriate way otherwise usually it will fail and when you are providing the credentials uh, you have to provide user azure ad slash vm user one the vrk solutions or the other ways you can actually use a username inside after adding these lines you can even add this optional lines username this one and provide your user whom you provided access and uh, uh, you can log in and you have to put domain provide domain azure ad or if you're not providing these lines remember that when you're providing the username you have to mention at azure ad slash the vm user complete email id and then provide the password of the same azure ad log from what credentials you provide to login and you should be in a position to login into this machines uh, if uh, so there are troubleshooting ish scenarios in case if your user uh, is actually having an mfa uh, that is when this will be failing so you have to disable MFA to your user uh, otherwise uh, uh, this won't work uh, this will fail so this is it uh, how you can actually log in into the Azure uh, so if I if I just wanted me to show it how does it work so we have a virtual machine so first things we have to go when well, you're creating a virtual machine you go into the management section you will be enabling this by default this is disabled after the virtual machine got created then you'll go inside the virtual machine and you will go into the options of run command and here by default you will be seeing disable NLA you have to go and click on it and click on run on it okay and uh, remember that once you have enabled login with Azure AD while you have created uh, while you're creating a VM you will have an extension in place which is saying that AD AD login for Windows has been established okay if this has not been provisioned that means your your machine is not connected with Azure AD then also it will fail and once you disable this NLA 
I usually prefer because it's organization point of view will have all the list of virtual machines in specific resource group and I'll go into an access control IEM and I click on role assignment uh, so I'd click on role assignment and here I'll select virtual machine login and I can select any of it and I can select the members and once I select the members and I click on select I click on assign the role assignment will be provided and then I have to download the RDP file once I download this RDP file I have to make changes to the RDP file and uh, I open that file as a notepad editor and I can actually I prefer adding this user ID because uh, th this is a longer one and uh, uh, usually this uh, so it's tough to actually write everything if you are not using this lines it's fine so while you are logging in you have to provide azure ad slash vm user one and provide your password and that is how you have to log in so this is good to go so if you have any questions or anything uh, you can actually drop in comments thank you